Hello everybody and welcome back to Super Tech Services. This is Brian and we got another video for you. So on today's video, I'm going to show you guys how to change the manual bypass rollers. So these are the rollers that lie just right here. Don't mind my cat food in the back there. So it's just the rollers right here. Sometimes they can be a little tricky to get to. You usually don't have to replace these much, but this machine's jamming. Um, so more than likely it's not even the rollers. Um, it's usually the one ways or, you know, or clutch either or so, um, but I'm just going to show you guys how to disassemble the section, take the rollers out. If the rollers are fine, I'll just either clean their one ways or replace them. But either way, this will show you how to change the rollers and or one ways and clutches. So stay tuned. All right. So just slide this gate down. If you want to remove the gate, you can, but you don't have to. So first thing we're going to do is just remove these two screws here right on the left and right. One there on the left. And this will remove the separation roller. And one on the right. Like so. Perfect. Alright, let's get you off. Get your screw there. All right, separation roller comes off just like so. Very easy. So you can see you got your roller, which doesn't look too bad, but might have some flat spots in it. So this is probably going to get replaced. And let's see if we can show you. And then you have your one way or clutch right next to it. Same thing. We'll either clean it by just dry wiping it or replace it. We'll we'll check what the counter is. Okay, now to remove the uh, feet assembly, we're just going to remove these two screws here, right on left and right. It's just a little cover. One and two. All right, and this top cover should come right off, just like so. And it will if the screw is out, and it must not be. Perfect. All right, now it should remove out slowly. There we go. Take a look at that there. Okay, so come right on back here, fold that back down, and what we're going to do is just remove these two C clips there. So there's going to be one on the right and one on the left. So just you can use a spring hook to pull that out. There's one C clip. And there'll be another one here on the left side. That's again a little bit tricky to get to. Okay, just like so you can see, I kind of got it. You can see it wiggling. And I just pull that. Wow. That went flying. Okay. Now that will allow you to release these little bushings here left and right just like so and then you can release this little spring right here and pull the unit out there we go See that? Now that spring is out. Now you can remove these two screws here holding this plate on. And these two screws here. bracket out now everything should just come right on out 
this from underneath, make sure the spring, and there you go. The rollers are going to be easier than it is to get that damn thing out. It's a little bit of a pain, but uh, as long as you follow the proper procedures, it should be good. All right, so now let's get these looked at. And yeah, those are flat balled, so we're going to go ahead and change these. All right, so we're going to go ahead and uh, replace the feed rollers and separation rollers along with their little one ways here. Just so we got a nice full set of everything and uh, then we'll test it out and make sure it works. Okay, we'll just get these off. Just remove the little clips here on the side. So, and then you can slide this one out here. Remove one more clip, like so. And there's your roller. And there's your runway. And as you can tell, that one is blue. So that one is different than the one on the tray. So make sure you put the right replacement on. Usually the ones on the trays are white, so that one will be blue. All right, to get the next one out, you're just going to remove this back clip here. Sorry if I'm covering it with my hand. Let me just knock that out, then you can see it. And you can remove this. I should be able to get this to slide out. Just like so. Got it. Perfect. Same thing. One more clip. Just take your time with this. What I like to do is always take a picture beforehand so you put everything back right. Because uh, these aren't these units you don't change a lot. So this is not something that you do all the time. So just take a picture beforehand and then go slow and make sure you put everything back the way it goes. Another one way here, same color blue, so we'll make sure we change that as well. So this little, so just get some alcohol and clean this little shaft as well. You want to make sure it's nice and clean. Make sure not to drop that little pin there. You're going to need that. I just want to make sure the shaft is nice and clean. Some people scuff the shafts up with a little, almost like a scuff pad. I try not to do that, uh, but it's also personal choice. A light scuff pad shouldn't be too bad. You just don't want to scuff up the shaft too much when the bushing goes on it. Then it will start to scrape against the bushing. Okay, so the shafts look nice and clean. Give this one another. I want to make sure they're nice and dry. That looks pretty good to me. All right, now let me get the rollers and some new one-ways, and we'll start putting everything back together. All right, so we got new rollers. Nice blue one-ways. So let's get them unpacked and ready to go. Okay, so we will start with our one-way back on. And if you don't know what a one-way means, it just means that it allows the shaft to turn only one way. So I can turn to the right can't turn left turn to the right can't turn left one way okay like I said that pin that fell might fall out make sure you grab that because you're going to need it that will go right in that little hole right there Ooh. and slide it around until it fits in its little slot and if it doesn't just move it over all right there now we got our one way on and our gear. Now we'll get our brand new roller. Almost grabbed the old one. And just get that on like so. Looking good, looking good. Now let's get a clip in there and just to hold it in place. So we know it's not gonna come out. 
just like so. There we got it. Now we can slip this bad boy back in to its rightful place. And then put your clips in. Be one on one side and one on the other. Put our little bushings on the side and then we'll put the clips in. So you'll see just like that, nice and straight. Put these little C clips on one side and one on the other. Perfect. Make sure it's in. There you go. Spins around. So there we go. One and done. Now let's work on the second one. Okay, same thing. One way on first. Roller. And then let's pop a C clip on there. Okay, all right, so we have that on there looking good. Now we'll swing this over here. Okay, that's on. And just move it over and get this last clip on right there. Perfect, that little extra bit should be sticking out like so. Okay, so you can leave it like this for now until we're ready to put that in. So just set that aside for now. And let's get this one changed. Make sure you get a smaller flathead than this. I'm just too lazy, mine's in the car. I get that out. You can slide this pushing out like so. And bam, voila, it comes right out. Okay, so now let's get this C clip off. like so and we can remove that along with the roller bam all right let's get a new roller in one way and I'll be right back same thing we'll clean the shaft All right, get your shaft, brand new roller, slidey on, and uh, one way, actually our little torque limiter there, and then the little pin is going to slide in. Like so, right through there. And just like that, that'll go right through there. Hopefully you can see that, that little mini pin I just threw right there. Okay, then this little cap goes right over. Keeps the pin in place. Kind of keep it in view so you can see it. Mm. Okay, just like that. So, should spin both ways. Like that. Now we 
can slide this on like so. Use needle nose or a flathead to just smack that on there. Bam. Okay, now we have our separation. Looking good. Feed section. Now we're ready to just put everything back. Just reverse the installation. Put everything back the same way you took it out. And you're good to go. Just like so. You can just start clipping everything in now. Make sure you get the spring in on the side and get the bushings in and the uh, C clips. Alright, so I'm just going to speed up the video here. Just get the two screws in one on the right, one on the left. And then I'll lock in your separator there. Alright, then you're just going to put this frame back on. Make sure that you get it installed properly. On the right side, there's a little tab that needs to go in and push it over to the right. And then lock it in with the two screws. Alright, then you're just going to put the top cover back on. Two screws as well. Okay, lock that bad baby in. Now it is time to test. Throw in some paper and press start. And be sure to clear the counters after you're done to make sure uh, you put in the system that you cleared the counters for the manual bypass drain. And look at that. It's working pretty good. No jams. So I think we're good to go. So I'm going to go ahead and end this video. Please like, comment, subscribe, and we'll see you guys on the next one. Thank you so much for watching.